That's why the Apostle Paul said, I can do anything. You're right, I can do it. But I'm not. Because I refuse to fall under the power. Because the Holy Ghost is not going to be inside of you fighting. That's why if you notice, every time it talks about the Holy Ghost, it tells you to yield to the Holy Ghost. If, if I'm driving a car and I come to a four-way intersection and these two have stop signs and I have a yield sign, do I have to stop? No. I have yield. They got stops. Who has to stop? What do I have to do? So can I go through without actually coming to a complete stop? Yes. Listen to me. Listen to me. Because what you do with the Holy Ghost is it's not a stop or go. It's a yielding. Yes. You yield to him. When you come into traffic on a highway, you don't gun it and go 100 miles an hour and hope that you hit the right spot. No, you are looking. Listen to me. You are looking for a spot. And you're gauging your speed to merge at the right time because you are yielding to what's going on. So when you're dealing with the Holy Ghost, you can't think that it's just going to be you can gun it and he'll just figure it out. No, you got to be watching him and you got to be led by him. And you got to find that opening that he gives you and you merge right into it. And all of a sudden you start to see things and understand things and discern things. And the light bulb goes on. You go, oh my God, I got it. Why? Because you have filled up your well to such a degree that you are now discerning spiritual things. He's directing your path. And you start to get agitated when people are not spiritual. This is why you could see something and it doesn't, it literally doesn't affect other people, but it bothers you. And then they're like, well, you're just a little too religious. No. I'm yielded. And as a yielded vessel, things become clearer and clearer to me because I'm yielded. I'm stepping into a realm that is a realm of truth and not facts. You live by your facts. I'm going to live by my truth. We'll see in the end where we end up. Because everything's telling you you're not going to make it. You're going to die. You're going to be poor. Everything's telling me that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Everything in me is telling me that God can do exceedingly, abundantly more than I can ask or think. God is telling me that on the inside of me is in fact the one who can literally split the Red Sea. He's the same one who raised Jesus from the dead. And the same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells on the inside of me. And it shall quicken my mortal body. The devil will tell you you're going to die. Jesus is telling me I shall live. 